Have you ever just sat there waiting, staring at a spinning wheel on your screen, waiting for an AI to finally start answering your question, for a video to begin rendering? That wait, that agonizing delay, it's called the time to first token. And for the biggest, most ambitious AI tasks in the world, it can last for minutes, sometimes even longer. Now, imagine you run a billion dollar AI company. Every second of that delay is money lost. Productivity, gone. Innovation, stalled. For years, this has been the unspoken nightmare of the AI revolution. A massive, frustrating a bottleneck. And everyone just accepted it. Because what could anyone possibly do? Well, today, one company decided to do something about it. And in doing so, they didn't just solve a problem. They created a whole new category of computing and they unveiled a machine, a single rack of servers that they claim can generate $5 billion. This isn't just another new chip. This is a declaration of war on waiting. This is the story of the NVIDIA Rubin CPX, and it changes everything. Welcome, everyone. If you follow tech, you know the name NVIDIA. They've become the undisputed king of the AI era. A trillion-dollar company I built on the back of the GPUs that power our artificial intelligence. We're used to them releasing a new chip every year. Faster, more powerful. The usual. But what they announced at the AI Infrastructure Summit was something completely different. This wasn't an incremental step. This was a leap into a future most of us hadn't even imagined. Today, we're going to unpack this stunning announcement. We're going to explore this new Rubin CPX GPU. We'll understand the genius of disaggregated inference. And we'll see how a single piece of hardware could unlock AI applications that feel like pure science fiction. This is a story about solving the impossible problem, about a company so far ahead, it's now competing with its own shadow. Strap in, this is going to be a wild ride. To understand why the Rubin CPX is such a big deal, you have to understand the problem it solves. Think about how an AI model, like ChatGPT, actually works. It's not one single task, it's two very different jobs. The first job is the context phase, or the prefill. This is where the AI looks at everything you gave it. Your massive question, that huge document you uploaded, an entire library of code. It has to read it, understand it, and process it all at once. This phase is a beast. It's compute intensive. It needs raw, brutal processing power. The second job is the generation phase. This is where it talks back to you, writing the answer, word by word, token by token. This phase is memory intensive. It's about speed and flow. Here's the crucial part. For years, one GPU had to do both jobs a single general-purpose chip trying to be a world-class weightlifter and a world-class marathon runner at the exact same time. The result? That awful, agonizing weight. The AI is stuck in the gym, lifting the enormous weight of your request, and you're just sitting there, waiting for it to finally start running. For complex tasks, this could mean a delay of 5, 10 minutes or more. It was the fundamental limit on what AI could do. NVIDIA looked at this problem, and they had a revolutionary thought. What if we stopped trying to make one chip do everything? What if we built a specialized tool for that specific, brutal, first job? This genius idea is called disaggregated inference. It's a fancy term for a simple, brilliant concept. Separate the workloads. Let one incredibly optimized chip, the Rubin CPX, handle the heavy lifting of the context phase. Let it be the world-class weightlifter. And let the other, standard GPU, handle the generation phase. Let it be the smooth, efficient runner. It sounds obvious, right? But it took NVIDIA's immense resources and deep understanding to actually make it happen. They first proved it could work in software, with their Dynamo platform, and the results were staggering. They saw performance boosts of 3x, with the exact same hardware. But software was just the proof of concept. The real magic was going to be building the dedicated hardware. 
And that's exactly what the Rubin CPX is. So, what exactly is this thing? The NVIDIA Rubin CPX isn't just a new GPU. It's a whole new category of processor. The first CUDA GPU ever built from the ground up. For one thing, and one thing only, massive context processing. Its specs are, frankly, terrifying. It delivers a monstrous 30 petaflops of compute power, dedicated to crushing those million token inputs. But here's a brilliant cost-saving move. Instead of using the ultra-expensive HBM memory that generation GPUs need, the CPX uses super-fast GDDR7 memory. It's the right tool for the job, not just the most expensive one. It has three times faster attention acceleration. This is the secret sauce, the mechanism that lets AI models focus on relevant parts of the input. This is vital for long context. And perhaps most importantly, it has dedicated hardware for video, encoders and decoders, built right into the chip. This isn't just for code anymore. This is for hours of video, for Hollywood, for content creation, for the future of media. This chip isn't about being a generalist. It's about being the absolute best at the one job that was holding everyone back. But a chip alone is just a piece of silicon. NVIDIA's real power is putting it all together into a complete mind-bending system. They call it the Vera Rubin NVL 144 CPX platform. It's a single rack of servers, and its numbers are almost too big to believe. This one rack combines 144 of the specialized Rubin CPX GPUs with 144 standard Rubin GPUs and 36 Vera CPUs. The total power? 8 exaflops of AI compute. That's a 7.5x increase over their previous already unimaginably powerful system. It has 100 terabytes of high-speed memory. The bandwidth is a staggering 1.7 petabytes per second. But NVIDIA knows their customers don't buy flops. They buy ROI, return on investment, and they made their boldest claim ever. They stated that this single rack could generate $5 billion in token revenue for every 100 million invested. Let that sink in. A 50 to 1 return. They aren't selling a computer anymore. They are selling a money printing machine for the AI economy. So what does this all mean? For us? For the future? This unlocks a tier of AI applications that were simply not possible. Before, imagine a coding assistant that doesn't just suggest a line of code. It can see your entire code base, every single file, every library, all at once. It can understand the complex relationships and optimize the whole project in seconds. Companies like Cursor are already dreaming of this. Imagine video generation. That isn't just a four-second clip. We're talking about generating entire coherent scenes, full-length animations. A director could ask an AI to generate a chase scene in the rain at night in Neo Tokyo, and it could render it with consistency and breathtaking detail. Runway is already planning for this. This is about moving from AI as a simple tool to AI as a foundational partner, an agent that can reason across millions of tokens of knowledge at once. This is the path to true artificial intelligence, and the Rubin CPX is the hardware that paves that road. The NVIDIA Rubin CPX is more than a product launch. It's a statement. It's a statement that the future of computing isn't about making one chip slightly better. It's about architecting entire systems with specialized components working in perfect harmony. While their competitors are still struggling to build a single chip that can compete with NVIDIA's last generation, NVIDIA is already defining the next one. They are so far ahead. They are literally creating new competitors for themselves. They solved the bottleneck that was holding AI back. They built the ultimate specialist. And in doing so, they didn't just advance technology, they built the engine for the next chapter of human creativity. The wait is over. The future is arriving in late 2026, and it's going to be incredible. What do you think? Is this the next logical step, or is it NVIDIA flexing its muscles to stay on top? I want to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If this deep dive into the future of AI computing fascinated you, if you want to understand the forces shaping our world, then please hit that like button. It helps more than you know.
And if you haven't already, subscribe, tap that bell icon, because the story isn't over. This is just the beginning, and I'll be here to explain every incredible step. Thanks for watching. Stay curious. See you in the next one.